Hey guys, Turner here. It's been a long time, but uh, today I have a video just showing you how to get started with Paper MC. Now, Paper MC is just an alternative to Spigot. It provides better performance as long as you don't set anything up really wacky. Uh, so you should consider running it if you currently run Spigot. So how to run it is you're gonna wanna go to the downloads page and click download. And then these are currently for builds 1.15.2. Now, if you want legacy builds, so anything under other than this value or this version, you're going to want to click legacy. Now, all these builds are unsupported. I believe they go all the way back to 1.8.8. .8, uh, but if you need to use them, you can find them there. Um, however, you won't get any support if you have any problems with them. So you're going to want to click the latest build. So it could be 150, you know, 175 or whatever. Just save that jar file into a folder anywhere on your computer. Just know where it's at. And then inside that folder, we're going to want to make two files. So we'll start with an eula.txt, so eula.txt, and then right click edit, and then we're going to type eula, eula equals true, and then control S or file, save. Now you can do that after the service starts, but it's just easier, you know, it doesn't stop you this way. Next you want to make is a new text document and you're going to want to do, uh, you're going to, want to name it uh, anything.bat. So you can name it start.bat, run.bat, whatever you want. I'm going to name mine start.bat. Just hit yes. Now right click, click edit. So now go back to the website and you're going to want to click documentation. All the links will be in the description by the way. Uh, click getting started and then if you're coming from a vanilla or Spigot, everything is just a drag and drop replacement. Uh, Spigot will handle everything for you in most cases. Or, sorry, Paper will handle everything for you in most cases. Um, so to run a server, just copy this, these arguments, or this command, and then go back to your start.bat, and you're gonna wanna paste that in. So these three numbers here, you're gonna to wanna to change these to whatever version you're running. So my version is 132. So I wanna change these to 132. If you have 150, you change them to 150. You know, 160, you put 160. You get the idea. So this is the minimum amount of, minimum amount of RAM the server can use, and this is the maximum. So you never wanna or have allocate more than your system has, or your system can afford to allocate. So if you only have eight gigabytes of RAM, don't put eight. Oh, you'll get bad things that happen. Uh, it's also a good idea to kind of keep these the same. But the last thing you can do this if you want is you can add uh, dash no GUI at the end. Now, by default, Minecraft servers have another uh, window that pops up that just shows, you know, server performance and stuff on top of the uh, command line window. If you want that, don't put this. But if you don't want that, put no GUI. That, this will make it so it only shows uh, the command line window which is preferred in most cases so now if you just start your server it will start up you'll get some errors the first times but the first time but that's no problem uh go back to well while that's starting up actually i'll talk about this batch file so these flags there's a great post which i'll leave a link in the description uh by acar Icar, I apologies, I'm pronouncing your name wrong, probably. Uh, he's a really good member of the community. He's done a lot of work with this. Um, and you should definitely give this a read. But you can just copy and paste these if you want. And then you'll have to change this to whatever your paper version is. So paper 132 for me. Um, but you should definitely read this. It kind of explains everything you need to know about it and what they do. And how to adjust them if you need them. Every server is different, so you need to kind of look at that and play with it uh, to help your performance. But so that the service should be started by now. Yep. So now if I join, I'm now on the server. Now, if you want to allow other people to connect, you know, from their friend's house or, you know, somewhere else, you're going to want to port forward. Now, I'm not going to be doing a video on that uh, because it's different for every router. But all you're going to need to do is just type in your router to Google and then how to port forward. Um, and you just want to port forward for ports 25565. But so now I'm on the server, and that's it. You know, I have a server running on paper. So if I go into console and I type, I think, version, it'll tell me what paper version I'm running. So now I'm going to talk about 
just the where to find the configuration uh, file, like information for that, um, since you're going to need to know that. So the main files you're going to edit are bucket.yml, uh, paper.yml, server.properties, and spigot.yml. So the first one, server.properties, will be the first link, and this will just show you all of the uh, the properties you have. So if you want to know difficulty, uh, you can do hard is three, normal is two. You know, you kind of get the idea. So that's if you have any questions, just look at here. It's very well documented. Uh, if you need to edit the bucket.yml, I'll leave another link in here, uh, and you can kind of look at that. So that's this one, and then the spigot configuration is here. One note on spigot is that these are not in the same order as the spigot file. So the order that these are in is not the same as the website. You're, so you're going to have to control F and find in page a lot uh, to match up. So that's kind of annoying, but you know, you can't really do anything against that. Uh, the last thing is the actual paper uh, config. So to get to that, I'll leave another link in the description, but just click configuration over here and this will show you all the configuration you can do. Uh, the only thing I do want to note with this is if you plan on using the, the anti-x-ray feature, x-ray. So if you plan on using this feature, uh, I just want to tell you the engine modes basically. So the default is one, and then I believe the other engine mode is two. So you want to use, if you have it enabled, you want to use one if your server CPU is poor. If you have a really good server CPU, then you want to use two and that just changes the way that they are like the blocks are uh like hidden uh so i believe one kind of hides a few of them and then two replaces like every block under the ground with an ore uh, so i just want to note that real quick but that's pretty much it for the video um that is how you get started with your server if you want to opt somebody you can just go on console and type slash or type op and then their name so now i'm a server operator uh, if you have any other plugins you want to add, you would put them in this folder. So you would drag them all into here. And then these are obviously your three worlds. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, but I'll see you guys later.